an intermediate amount of regression is considered to be between 10% and 50% of the lesion surface. In this case, the lesion should be excised or closely monitored if multiple lesions within the same patient showed similar findings. This lesion was excised and diagnosed as a nevus. Again, here a lesion with intermediate amount of regression that was excised and diagnosed as a nevus histopathologically. Here another lesion with intermediate amount of regression that have been excised because it was the only lesion with regression features in this patient. The histopathologic diagnosis was in this case early invasive melanoma. Here, a melanoma with high amount of regression, more than 50% of the lesion surface. Of note, the color of regression, whiter than the surrounding skin. Lesions like this should always be excised because of a much higher chance to be dealing with a melanoma. At the bottom line, a single lesion with clear-cut regression features must be excised. The next melanoma specific feature is streaks. They should not be confused with branched streaks, which represent only the abrupt peripheral cutoff of, of an atypical network as shown in this melanoma. Streaks are defined as peripheral, pigmented, linear or bulbous projections, usually seen as a dermoscopic sign of growth of the lesion. They can be seen in melanoma and spitz or reed nevi, with an asymmetric or symmetric distribution around the lesion, respectively. Since melanoma can sometimes mimic the starburst pattern of a spitz or reed nevus, as a rule, we excise spitzoid lesions in adults. Thus, at the bottom line, a lesion with clear-cut streaks must be excised anyway. Dots and globules can be found in nevi but also in melanoma. The differential diagnosis is facilitated by the assessment of the regular or irregular distribution of dots and globules within the lesion. Melanoma shows asymmetric collection of globules of different size and color, whereas globular nevi exhibit symmetric distribution of globules. Other two examples of lesions showing peripheral globules distributed asymmetrically melanoma and symmetrically nevus. Here a melanoma in which the most striking and diagnostic feature is represented by asymmetric globules varying in size and color. Thus a single lesion with clear-cut irregular dots and globules must be excised. The next feature is the so-called blotches. These are areas of structureless pigmentation of brown to black color. In melanoma, blotches are asymmetrically distributed, whereas in nevi, they are usually located in the center, as is the case of these black nevus here on the right. Atypical vessels are the last but not least melanoma-specific criterion. They are represented by dotted vessels or linear irregular vessels or a combination of both, usually lying on a background of milky red coloration. Atypical vessels are not easily found in heavily pigmented melanomas, but they can be the only valuable feature in the case of hypomelanotic and amelanotic melanomas. Atypical vessels should not be confused with the typical arborizing vessels of Basase carcinoma, like this, the example here, and should be differentiated from coma vessels, typically found in globular congenital nevi, as is the case here. In summary, a lesion must be excised or carefully evaluated in the context of the clinical situation of the patient when one of the seven melanoma features